What's up, YouTube? I feel like it's been forever. Let's see how long it's been since I've uploaded. <sighs> yeah, it's only been two weeks, but it feels like it feels like a lot longer than that. October 18th, so it's been like 12. It's been almost three weeks since I've uploaded a video, and I have no good excuse for that. Laziness, inconsistency, that's something I need to get over. Anyways, today's video is going to be a little different. It's inspired by something else I've been watching on YouTube a lot lately. Something I've been getting obsessed over the past couple days. And that is going to be solving these two Hanayama cast puzzles. The past week or so, I've been watching a lot of Chris Ramsey's videos and Chris Ramsey is a guy who does both magic content like magic card magic and other types of magic and he also does puzzle videos on his channel where he solves um, different puzzles really hard puzzles um, probably puzzles that I would never be able to solve but I've been really interested watching them also uh, remember a lot of puzzles like this one specifically from when I was younger I used to get puzzles at like Christmas time or my birthday um, and I always enjoyed solving those as a kid and so I haven't done this in forever I haven't like solved the puzzle but this should be fun so I've got two here hopefully I'll be able to solve both of them I'm gonna time myself see how see how fast I can solve them uh, I've got two of them but like I might only be able to solve one of them in a decent amount of time so I I don't know, we'll see. So let's jump right into it. Okay. So I'm gonna start with this Hanayama keyhole puzzle, that's what it's called. So it's a level four. Um, I don't know what that means. I assume it's on a level on a scale of maybe one to ten. Oh wait, no. It's on a scale of if you see that there, one to six. So this is actually I mean it's intermediate, it's halfway through. So, we'll, we'll see exactly how hard it actually is. Let me get this out of the box. So, something also interesting about these two puzzles I got or are, can you take it apart and now try and put it back together? So, like, really you haven't solved it until you put it back together, um, which may prove to be more difficult. So... We'll see. Let's get it out of the packaging real quick. Let me pull up, pull up my timer app again. And set this to not go to sleep. Okay. So here's the puzzle. These two little things. Okay, let's start the timer. These two little metal pieces are going to come apart from each other. So I remember your puzzles like this when I was a kid, like tactical puzzles, puzzles that needed to move. Kind of like a maze, it's kind of like a maze. It looks like a maze. Um, let's see, got it to that point. Got it all the way down here. Oh, maybe this way. Ooh, maybe. Good down no so I think it's gonna go like through here until I get to this bottom one and that'll like somehow release it here maybe the other direction okay that's farther than I've gotten Can't go any farther. So here. Sometimes I get really frustrated doing these things though. Like the videos I've been watching from Chris Ramsey. He literally sits there. Whoa, I got it really far. He'll literally sit there for, you know, 30 minutes at a time working on a puzzle. And I'm like, dude. I don't know if I could do that. 
So I got it all the way down here. I got it all the way to the bottom now. Need to go a little farther though. I think I need to get to this position on the opposite side. So like flip it over and get to that position, but I don't think that's possible. been here before that's another thing about these puzzles like you gotta remember if you've been in a certain position because you might like trick yourself same time I feel like I'm so close right there This needs to be over here. But then I can't get past this position. Can I? Just come out, man. Just do me a favor and magically pop out. See, okay. This distance here, there's nothing, none of these are big enough to like slide that down through. This distance here is the same size as like this bar. So it can only come out here or like on the side. Got it. Wow. I literally don't even know what I did there. I just went the opposite direction for a minute. So there it is apart. There's the two pieces. I know this was here. So there like so you want to get top of the gold piece. And then this just slots down pretty easily. Okay, let's like try to get it back locked together. So I was here, and then I think I just went through the other side. It's so like, yeah, I just came down. Which I'm back locked. And then, I'll take the gold piece. Come around. And lock it back. 
Let me look at the picture and make sure I get it back together the correct way. so weird like you really think that it would be easier to put it back together but that is not true it's kind of the same degree of difficulty there it is beautiful okay back together so that one took me about 15 minutes to get apart and back together. And who knows if I would be able to do it quicker this time. But I did it. I solved it. I'm happy about it. Wait a second. I had it solved. Now I've, there we go. Perfect. I'm not touching it anymore. Sick. All right. I'm going to pause this. Or I'm going to actually reset this. That one took me 15 minutes. 18 seconds. Let's try the other one. Okay, so a little disclaimer about this one. I actually already solved it, but for some reason, my camera decided to stop recording, which is really frustrating, but at the same time, maybe it might be just as hard the second time. I don't know. We'll see. So this is the Hanayama Mobius. It is like a spiral. You got this little key thing you got to take out of it. It's, it's kind of like a maze as well, kind of like the other one. Same level of difficulty. I love four out of six. So I guess we'll see if I can do it a second time without, or a second time and it not take me longer than the first time. So here we go. We're going to do this now. So this one, it's like a maze. You're running through these little ridges. So, I think this is going to be way easier the second time because now I kind of know the little, like right here, you get stuck a little bit, but like you realize kind of what direction you need to go in. So, anyways, I mean, I've kind of forgotten, so we'll see. I mean, I literally did it five minutes ago, so. Me saying I've forgotten is kind of sad, but anyways. Okay, you actually go all the way down, I'm pretty sure. Or I could be wrong, no, I'm wrong, okay. All the way up, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go past it, and you gotta go all the way over. Take it all the way down. You come back towards the notch. Yeah, boom. Literally a minute and 13 seconds. Like I say, I already solved this one. The last time it took me 10 minutes to solve and about 2 or 3 minutes to put back together. So, get it back together. We'll, we'll do that for you here. Um, all the way up, all the way down. Go down, up. It's actually pretty fun to solve it a second time because you kind of got to test your memory of like how, what moves that I have to do to get it, to get it there. Yeah, putting that together is going to prove a little more difficult than put, uh, taking it apart the first time, but... I really like this one though. It, it really is like a maze. Where it's like a two sided maze where you have to pay attention to both sides of the maze or whatever.
Okay, back to square one. So, I don't know why this is proving so difficult. Second time around, maybe I go the other way. There it is. How was that so simple after just taking it back apart? I have no idea. Anyways, there it is. Hopefully this time it recorded. Yeah, it's still blinking, so it's recording. Um, yeah, so there is the Hanayama Mobius and the Hanayama Keyhole Puzzle solved. This one solved twice because I'm just that good. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this content. And if you want to see me do more difficult puzzles, like get some level sixers or level fives, Maybe I can make that happen. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Really hope you enjoyed watching me solve these puzzles and get a little frustrated. If you did, do the things you do. Go down and like the video. Go subscribe to the channel. Click notifications if you want to be notified. Uh, leave a comment. Maybe there's some puzzles you know about you want me to solve. Or maybe you just want to tell me how bad I am at puzzles. That would be cool too. Um, puzzles are really cool. They make you kind of sit down and they make you think and they make you be still for 15 minutes or so and just kind of, I don't know, get away from technology, get away from everything and just kind of think critically. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be doing more of these in the future. It was really fun to do them today. I'm really surprised at myself that I was actually able to solve them like kind of as quickly as I did because I thought it was gonna be embarrassing and I was gonna take 45 minutes to an hour to solve these things, but that wasn't the case. I did it. I feel proud of myself. That's another thing that puzzles do. They make you feel accomplished. So leave a like, subscribe, share the video, do all the things. I'll be back at you next week. I'm gonna stop slacking and I'm gonna start uploading more guaranteed anyways see you next week